Hello, today is June the 25th, 2013. Um, the, the clouds that we had for the last couple days have kind of dissipated and gotten thinner and now we've got clouds floating around, beautiful clouds floating around on a white background again. And the white background is contrails which could very well be geoengineering, which most definitely is global dimming. Global dimming is a problem we've all got to deal with that nobody's really paying attention to, that uh, all these airplanes are leaving their condensation trails to spread in the sky like this and leaving the white skies and gray skies lines in the sky you can see all the different lines up in through there and if you take a good close up in through here you can see the lines that are growing and the ripples within the lines and there's another line there they're up there in the the white haze spraying or leaving white trails that span out all day long and it causes what's called global dimming. You can Google global dimming and you'll find a documentary all about it on uh, YouTube. So, as you can see, there's just layers and layers of this white haze that is left behind by the planes. And the global dimming is causing a lot of problems because it is changing the biodiversity of the whole planet. So, with this stuff in the air, we're not getting the vitamin D we're required. The plants are not getting the, the photosynthesis that's required. And, you know, the whole, the whole structure of the earth is changing because the chemicals in it are changing. It's not being, the ground is not being activated by the sun like it used to be. So the ground and the trees and the soil and the bugs, there's not as many bugs anymore as there was when I was growing up. The atmosphere is full of toxins. And the toxins are staying and dropping onto the planet and killing all our bugs. Removing, it's like the, the planet is encased in, in pesticide. And I have no doubt that it is. And we're all living in it. And it's killing us. Killing the humans, slowly, I do believe. Once, you know, everything else dies, like the fruits and vegetables, because they can't grow properly, especially if there's no bees, because the pesticides in the air is killing all the bugs. I don't even have to scrape my windshield anymore for bugs. I remember growing up when you couldn't go for a half an hour drive, and you had to scrape the bugs. Your windshield wipers were smearing the guts all over the place. Don't tell me if you're over 40, that you don't remember that. And I don't even know what that tower is. It could be something that shouldn't be there, but it's 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 owned, I think, by Eastlink or, or one of the cable companies or phone companies or something. But anyway, this is what we're dealing with on a daily basis here. When the clouds go away, we get, you know, we get this cloud coverage like you'll see in my other videos all day long, blocks out the sun. And now when we do get some blue skies, they're not blue, they're white because of this geoengineering or just the, the, the condensation trails that are spanning out and causing the global dimming. And it's not just happening here. Google it everywhere you can think of on the planet and you will find it's going on. So we got to do something about it. If we don't do something about it, then we're just sitting there letting it happen and our grandchildren are going to pay for it because we won't be around to fight anymore. So let's do something about it. Stop this. Till next time.